Welcome back my loyal subjects of funk to a brand new let's funkin play of a brand new game Fear the Awakening and I seen this one on the Steam store and I just got excited straight away I don't know anything about it I'm just gonna get balls deep into it it just looks so good that it's it's a survival game um, a turn based survival game and I just you know I couldn't resist so um, let's just I think we'll keep things pretty normal at the moment. We'll pick a character. I don't know who Savrog is. Oh, you can't play with them. They're unlockable. So we'll just go with Veliz or Mokosh. We'll go with Veliz. Um, leave the difficulty on normal. And uh, we'll, we'll go for Warriors. And then we'll just get absolutely into this. Um, oh, I'm quite ex I haven't been excited for a game in quite some time. I'll tell you what, I've never bought a game just by looking at it on the Steam store, I've always checked it out and stuff before, but I just when I went on this and considering it's come from Steam Greenlight, I thought this is absolutely spot on. Um and if you do like this, I wouldn't mind it if you hit the like button and maybe hit the subscriber button. It would help the king of funk out a great deal. Your first mission is to survive. Every critter is trying to make sure you stay down, so get food and craft better equipment to protect yourself. I'll skip the tutorial because I'm fucking class. Okay, big man. Right. So we've, got, we've been given some XP right off the bat. Five XP and plus two science, I believe. So let's let's uh, close. And here we have it. Turn one. So let's go ahead. Now I'm assuming that one of the objectives is to collect resources. So I'm going to go ahead and... So we will get moving, and we'll go and collect some treasure. It's going to take two turns to get there. Oh, no, it's not. Just meant I was going two tiles. Let's have a look. What's this? Inventory. Uh, search location. Let's search the fuck out of it. You stumble across ruins of an old city engulfed in mist and mystery. Let's search that bugger. You open one of the buildings. A strange-looking stone and metal build a fray. Two arms. We've got a fight on the guys on the cards, guys. We've got one skeleton and four hulking rats. Um, I'm gonna begin the battle. <coughs> Keep or reshuffle or surrender. Right, so that's what we're gonna have. I think this is fine. We'll find out in a minute. We've got the mini tutorial up in the corner. Which we can follow if you feel confident enough to play on your own. Keep this tutorial window for reference. Your opponent's cards, let's begin. Your deck is made up of your party members, stats, damage type and tactical skills come from their equipment and skills. Your deck is divided into two hands, offensive hand on the left and tactical hand on the right. Right, so let's go ahead and choose a card. Right, so I'm, I'm obviously going first. This is where you play your cards. Now let's let's have a look at the stats. This 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 one seems to be the strongest, so I'm just going to bang it out there because it has 24. I presume out of 24 out of 24 and nine offense. Um, then the fight phase comes after all cards are played. Let's have a look. We'll play one of these as well if we can. It won't allow us to. All right, so you can only play one at a time. Right, I'm getting the 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 gist of this. Let's hit the old next button opponent's turn. Each card has an attack and a defense. So he's brought out two, which really worries me. Um, we'll bring out the one with the highest defense. Must we bring one of these out, of course. We'll bring Mania out. And then go next. Attack steal damage lower in the defense of an attacked card. When defense reaches zero, that card is eliminated. Right. right this one's got an ability to poison this one here, the skeleton, which uh, worries me a great deal, actually. We'll just have to play this for now until we start getting into fights. Opponent's turn. Right, okay. Player's turn. Click that to learn more. Your wounds will be carried over the challenge. Collect different characters. Offensive cards are for direct attack and placed in the battlefield using the left click. Cards initiate depend on some weapons. Tactical cards offer support. We'll affect an eligible card. Right, okay, so it's when you run out of cards, that's when the fight stage begins. He seems to have fucking tons of them though, doesn't he? It just takes the Michael fucking Kane. 
Right, so we're absolute fucking beast in it. Because these have really low attack and defence. And all of our cards survived. That was really easily done. You have uh, acquired left. Oh, we've acquired quite a lot of things there. What's that one? Rib cage. We've acquired uh, leather. We've acquired meat. Metal. Iron, should I say. Fruit. And topaz. We've got quite a lot of it. And this woman took plus two wounds, which is very sad. I won the battle though, so that's us absolutely sorted. Right, this is the inventory at the moment, right now. We can equip stuff to our fellows. Which would be interesting. What's this one? This one has a damage of six, whereas this has a damage of five. Let's have a look at some of our characters who are a lot weaker. Because some of them, I suspect, I could give some of these weapons to. But this one has an ivory short sword. And that's a big training sword. But that's for bigger characters, the, the, the problem with that will be. Let's give something to this guy, let's kick him out. Let's give him a... You cannot change equipment during the event. Alright, so we're just evaluating the... Uh, in my grip. Oh, you can take it. Right. Left click to dismantle, right click to see properties. Take the stuff and leave this place. Plus 2 XP, plus 1 science. Okay, now let's go on to the inventory. There's a spider's next to this there. I want to go on to equipment, I want to go on to this fellow and I want to give him some stuff from that we just captured, like a buckler would do nicely. It's better than the kick in the... Oh, he can't actually do it, because here we have, um, this is the equipment weight and the weight actually exceeds what he can carry because he's an old man, which is uh, it's shit for him, I don't know. Let's have a look see if we've got any better things. Um, she she can hold 200. She can hold quite a lot. This one's two-handed. This one's two-handed as well. Right, so there's nothing we can actually do at the moment. Other than, in turn, I imagine, and then all the all the creatures in the world will take their turns, which is very good. Um. There we go. Let's search this place. Inventory search. Um, yeah, let's search it. Two arms and fight. So there is some stuff in here. Four times deformed bat and three times hulking rat. Begin battle. Which is why before. I mean, there's no point in actually. We'll just keep and play. Because that's, the, that's all the cards that we have. So we have to go with this. So let's go ahead and play the first turn. We'll play the meatiest one. She actually hasn't got any defense. Actually, we'll play the one with the highest defense. And then end turn. Right, deformed bat. Play you. It's basically like, as I said, you just. We can close that now because we know what the fuck we're doing. We'll play her. We don't really know what we're doing with these, actually. But there we go. Oh! Right, okay, so you, you play the abilities from that. That's absolutely spot on. We get first action if I play this one. Hopefully we get these abilities back after the level's finished. I'll play this as well. Right, that'll do me. And now the battle will kick off. I think first action's probably the best we're going to get out of that. Okay, a big hulking rat. How many more have you got to write? Fight phase is finally here. Right, so we get all the first attacks there, which is very nice indeed. Shit. Alright. Spot on, we did it. I think we did that quite superbly. That ability to be able to go first and strike first really reduces the amount of damage done. So we've got a lot more stuff now and two XP and plus two thingies. So have we got another move this turn? We do, we have three left. Um best way attack. Better play safe and use trickery, brew a poison and plant in some bait. Um, get brewing 
Right, so we have a tactical advantage here, I presume. Times two cured. Damage keep it. We're, we're good at the moment. Let's um. Okay. We'll use polar. Counter offensive shield ally. Right, there we go. Put a shield on our ally. Um, counter tactic, get closer. There's no one valid for that skill. Right, we'll play one, we'll play this one first because it's got an attack of 14. But hell, we could get absolutely battered here. Right, that's oh, there we go. We managed to play all of them. Funk, funk. Shit. We're getting absolutely battered. Uh, I think we better surrender. Shit, look at that. Some of these are coming out to actually fight. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Four malicious spiders. Right, that'll have to do. Um, Let's reshuffle that because I don't want the old man. Okay doesn't work like that apparently. I didn't want the old man in the offensive. Right, these are really easy to kill. They've only got 2-2 uh, two, two and 4 attack. 2 out of 2 health and 4 attack. So this becomes really easy to actually learn very fast, which is nice. Right, they're going to play 2 more spiders I presume. There we go. Um, we'll confuse one. Oh no, we can't because we haven't got enough things to spend. Let's go for it. Use another first action. Which is good because obviously, if you're further left on the table, you get to go first. And I think that's the whole premise. You get to go first out of the, uh, the number of baddies. Spot on. Very easily done. Right, so let's think about making a camp for the night. Inventory. Equipment. Split expedition, no. Let's see if we can go back to the town and sell some stuff. Right, we've got no more movements left. We're quite lucky then, actually, because, as I've said, we've got some levels, levels up to do. Now I'll help you set up your village tasks. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. But first of all, your people's ab abilities have improved, so they actually improve automatically. Which is nice. And what do we have here? Your people's abilities have improved. Plus one strength, plus one range damage, plus two will, plus one perception. Very nice indeed. And uh, here we have... Ah, science. Very nice. Should we go for amber? So we have one placement. We'll go for amber and we'll get the whole of the first tier done. Um, pretty fossilised tree resin. Gems give a random skill bonus upon crafting weapons and armour. The rarity of the gem improves the strength of the bonus. We'll add five units of this uh, resource to your settlement's inventory. That's very good. So we'll go for that one first. And then we'll... Uh, we'll hold on a minute. It says... What do we have here? Fruit, vegetables, current tasks. So the current task is what? To cultivate food. Right, we'll go ahead and then turn. Now we've got some bats there. We'll try and go back to uh, here. And in fact, we actually have one more turn left, so I'm going to go and fucking try it on. Five deformed bats. Let's begin the battle. I can't believe we lost the character though, so we're really annoying that because we don't want to use Derwin, he's an old man for Christ's sake. Right, let's play you and then let's play first action. Thank you very much. Means that we get to absolute batter them. We'll play this guy as well because first action, I'll tell you now. That one there is only costs one. Oh, we've got none left. Somebody's taking the fucking piss out of us. Right, let's put you on. 
put the the meatiest one last that can take damage. Okay, shield ally, confuse. First action doesn't work. Let's use some confuse. There we go. Right, so here we go. Battle phase. See you later. Battle phase two. Fight phase two, shall we say? Ooh. Okay, we won. Derwin took some damage though. Plus one XP of one health. And then we shall end turn. And we'll have a look at some of the tutorials in the next turn, which is right now. Turns end so damn fast. Uh, village tasks. Select your village by clicking that. And then select this to bring up the village options. So we'll do some gathering. Right. We'll go back in there a minute. Click on gather. What does it say? Here you can see the resources that can be gathered. Food is marked by this icon. Next. Um, oh, so you drop one of your, your villagers into the uh, the actual right so he's actually got six gathering there of food this one's got one making which is very nice um, we'll bring him back and we'll put in his place this one put the gatherer over here because obviously you want to appropriate the skills to the right tasks naturally so they're gonna start leveling up as well I presume they'll get better in time um, crafting, crafting tools. This guy's the only one. Can we put him in these? Like that. Right, we need the resources first. Construction, not enough resources. Should we, so we could, if we wanted, create a pasture. But for now, I think we'll just continue to head out. Let's select you. Oh, we have to end turn, perhaps? No, it's because I'm selecting the village. Because I'm an idiot! Equipment. New expedition. So we can actually have multiple ones at the same time, which is really interesting. One we'll turn. Because naturally we've got some gathering to do as well. Ah, there we go, you see? We've got 40 out of 60. Amount project complete. Required to complete the task. Then we'll go and clear out the spiders next. Nest. But it seems to me that... Is this getting darker? Or is it just me? Click end turn to end turn. I actually moved my little group out of the town, which is puzzling me to some degree. Because we've got, oh, we've got something really interesting here. Because every time I click it, it just keeps wanting me to click the air. Right, okay, there we go, finally. Okay, let's end turn. I'm sure this will give our men plenty of time. Right. Let's go, let's go for tactics. Right, start the tactical approach. Uh, two times tactical challenge. Do you want to resolve it? Auto resolve it. You have acquired. Oh, we did it. We did it. We got that. We we got some bones as well. We got two XP. So we actually auto resolved that one and won. Surprisingly, we do have six men in our. The villagers need to eat. Each person uses one food item marked with food per turn. Food is needed to heal wounds. If villagers run out of food, they will starve and eventually die. Right, okay, thank you for that. Having good variety of food provides many bonuses. Fuel is needed in the village and camps. One fuel... blah blah blah. So let's have a look at the inventory. I presume we need to then... Uh, Right, we do have way more than enough food at the moment, and I, I presume this food and fork icon presumes, I mean shows, that they are actually eating that food at the moment, which is nice. Let's go in production and have a look. So this will be done in one turn, apparently. Manage supplies. Right, yeah. Food items are allowed for consumption, so you tick them if you want them to be allowed for consumption. Because obviously, if, you, if you're not making enough of one thing, you won't want to save it for a while. So let's um, end turn. Oh, we've got an encounter. Try to track down these bandits. Fucking two, right? 
They assume that they're hiding that they're safe elsewhere. Luckily, you have some skilled scouts to help out. Two times hunting. I will begin the combat. Right, so this is all we have in the village at the moment, which is, uh... It could be better, I tell you that for nothing. Uh, we'll play the one with the strongest attack first. Which means we get to go first, which is nice. Uh, support ally, first action, get closer. What do we have here? That guy's an absolute meatball, look at the size of him. We'll play this woman first. Um, and then we will... I was going to say we'd first action that, but we'll... Uh, We'll support ally on this one. We don't. We can't do that this turn. We only have one point to spend, and you can see it there. The hell happened there? Oh, she's supporting my ally. He actually can't do anything. He's fucking useless. He should have been. He should have been on that side fighting. Shit. Right, he's dead. Dead as doornails. Uh, keep playing. Alright, so we're doing it all over again. Choose the guy with the most health first. Put you out. Right. That's a plus one attack there, which is better than the kick in the cherries. Go on. Shit, he's dead! Fuck's sake, I wouldn't know. We got our supplies back. Fuck that, you know. Plus three in uh, books and one in thing. Right, really pissed off about that. This is where the bandits are. Right, okay, we'll get our expedition together then, guys. Lend turn. We're gonna have to get more people in here, because seriously. Things are going tits up with our population. Manage supplies, group size, four. We've only got four people in there. Obviously we haven't got enough to make a new expedition so early in the game. Let's go and craft. Um, craft some cloves. Alright, okay. So you, if you have a secondary and third material. Let's put that on there. Uh, is this how you can do it? You can't do that. Okay, so we can get some primary items. Right, we need a catalyst. Sadly, we've got no fucking catalysts. Let's cook some meals. Let's put some meat in. Hopefully these meals will go a lot further. That's what I'm thinking, anyhow. Some meat here, actually. Um, and put the wood in third. So we can... We can't put the wood in third. Because we need that instead. Right, we can cook one vegetable stew. I'm going to go and confirm that. And uh, we'll set about this. We do need somebody with cooking skills and we don't have any. But as this guy's acting like an absolute idiot and there's nothing we can do with him, we'll use him instead. So there we go, guys. This is the first episode of Let's Funking Play Fair. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. We'll go into more of the uh, other options in the next session. So all I can say is thank you very much for watching. I hope that you subscribe and goodbye.